What is up guys, today we are back at the hookup tackle. The reason why I'm back here is because in my last glide bait video that I talked about, you guys were asking a couple other questions that I think I should go over and one of the biggest ones was line. So today I'm gonna be kind of breaking down each category of different styles of swim baits from top water to soft baits to glide baits and crank down. So we're gonna talk about lines for each and every one that I personally recommend and fish. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the for the very first topic we're gonna to be talking about is the top water style baits. And that can be the Walk the Dog, the Lunka Punker, or this is the Mega Bass Mega Dog. So anything that is that spook style, that side to side on top of the water, or a crawler style. So this is a Munker crawler or even like a rat bait. So any of those baits that work on top of the water for years I was fishing mono and it always seemed like the walk the dog style that I was fishing never really swam or fished as well as I thought it would until a lot of dudes started talking about fishing it on braid. Now I was using, this is just Power Pro 80 pound braid straight to like the lunker punker and since it's braid it floats and it has no stretch so when you're really bombing the punker, the punker weighs around like four ounces and it's weighted a little more in the back so you can really fire the punker far. So you're bombing the punker out there. On mono, since there's a lot of stretch in mono, when I'm working the bait, it just wouldn't work as well just because there's just all that stretch and it wouldn't snap the bait side to side because you really need to snap a lot of these bigger walk the dog style baits. So the braid, on a far cast will snap it so it'll go side 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 and it'll fish correctly where with mono it'll it might go this side but then there's too much stretch and it might half ass go this way or half ass go that way and it, it really has you working the reel a lot more than what you should now with the with the crawler or the rat baits again braid floats so if you make a far cast your rat bait or your crawler bait isn't sinking down which would happen with like fluorocarbon now the mono can help with maybe like a crawler because it has the treble hooks and you don't want to pull the the bait out of a fish's mouth. That's where a lot of guys will add a fluorocarbon leader, just a short one, maybe like a foot or two foot. Either way, braid for top water baits is probably the best way to go around. All right, so the next category we're talking about is soft bottom bouncing baits. So like the classic, the eight inch Huddleston here, the 10 inch Huddleston, baits with Magnum, and even downsizing to like the HUD 68 or, or like the Citizen or the Battle Shad. So when it comes down to soft baits that I like to work on the bottom, I'm fishing anywhere from 25 pound fluorocarbon, this is FC Sniper by Sunline, or if I'm downsizing to like the 68 or the Battle Shad, I'm fishing 20 pound FC Sniper. The fluorocarbon with the soft baits, when I'm bombing out and I'm really bombing these baits out here over a point, I'm letting it sink down to 50, 60 foot and sometimes I'm even, I'm even long lining sometimes and so I'm dumping a lot of line out. Now with mono, mono floats and copoly floats. So when you're fishing that kind of stuff and you cast out your line's gonna go like this to where the bait is. The line's gonna stay floating. So when you work the bait, it's gonna come, come, and then it's gonna start rising up to where the boat's back here. So with that fluorocarbon, the whole line just sinks down, especially if you wait a bit. So your bait stays more true on the bottom, it stays down there longer, and you're in the strike zone a lot longer. So I, again, have fished mono for soft baits, but in recent years, fishing on the bottom with the HUD or the Magnum, I've definitely felt like I've gotten better contact and I've stayed down there longer with the fluorocarbon. It definitely helps. And when you're down there on a long cast, the fluorocarbon doesn't have as much stretch as mono does. So when you get bit and it's super far away from the boat, just kind of like with the punker, that stretch on the long cast, you want to have a little bit stiffer of line. So you don't have that stretch when you're down there because you're setting the hook and your bait's like, 60 yards away from the boat. So you definitely wanna have a little bit stiffer line when you're fishing the soft bait deep down if you guys are fishing deep water. 
All right, so the next style of beats we're gonna be talking about is the glide beats. So that's obviously anything from like a Clash 9, the Depths 250, or Gancraft, S-Waver, any of those style of glide baits, I'm also going to be fishing fluorocarbon. Now, for the most part, on all of my glide baits, except for some of the bigger baits like the Mother or the Hinkle, fishing 20-pound fluorocarbon. The 20-pound fluorocarbon, obviously, to a lot of guys, people will use 20-pound fluorocarbon fishing a jig, and I'm throwing big baits anywhere from four all the way up to six ounces maybe even seven ounces and a lot of guys think that's light and it personally is light so that's why you can also fish it on 25 pound fluorocarbon but the reason why i'm fishing that fluorocarbon is sometimes again i do like to sink out my glide baits a lot and a lot of the glide baits that i have there are like super super slow sink or the floating with fluorocarbon since it sinks i'm able to manipulate now that floating beat might become like an extra extra slow sink or if i want to get a slow sinking glide bait down there faster in the strike zone the fluorocarbon will also help and keep it down there as well just like with the soft bait and another reason i like the fluorocarbon is since it's stiff kind of goes back to the braid and how i want that bait to snap i want to feel that reaction of every time i'm gliding the bait i want to feel it and so the fluorocarbon since it's stiff and i make that cast I can get the reaction that I want out of the bait just because there is no stretch that will slow down the movement and it's just a lot easier to work some of these glide baits with the fluorocarbon overall just because it has that always snapping ability. Okay, so the next style of baits we're gonna be talking about is the cranking baits and it bring like the tiny clash or the canine but anything that is like a crank down that you are hitting like rocks or trees with i would definitely go with copolymer so this is p-line cxx a lot of guys like to fish the cxx and the reason why the copoly is it kind of has that the mono jeans but it's a lot more abrasion resistant it still floats but if you're going to be in contact with trees or rocks that abrasion resistance is going to definitely help you the fluorocarbon can definitely be a thing that you can also fish a crank down with but if you still want that buoyancy a little better, then that's when you would pick up the copolymer. Obviously different size copolymers work, but this is just the one that I've used in the past before. Last style of bait that we're gonna be talking about is like segmented. So this is like the Ganterol. You can fish like the triple trout, anything that's segmented that you're kind of working a little bit faster than normal, you would wanna go with mono. So this is, classic trialing big game 20 pound now this this trialing big game when i was just getting into swim baits it was easy to get it was fairly cheap and i thought the overall strength of it was actually fairly well and i've used it for many many years 20 25 pound and i fished every, all of those baits that i've talked about from top water to soft baits to glide baits all on mono and really if you don't want to get that deep into line and you don't have a bunch of different setups mono is honestly one of the best ways to go just because you can fish really anything on mono so if you're not really that into it just yet and you kind of just want one line to do it all mono can technically do it all for you so mono and with like a triple trout you're working it really fast and if you get crushed on braid or fluorocarbon, you might actually rip the hooks out of that fish because you're ripping it so fast and they come up and hit it pretty fast. So the mono, since it has that stretch, when they hit it, it's not just that instant pull away. It actually has a little bit of stretch so the bait stays in that fish's mouth a little bit longer so where it gets hooked a little bit better. So that's in the case of where I'd fish mono personally. So that's pretty much the lines that I've used in the past few years. A lot of my rods have either copoly or fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is pretty much on, I think, five out of the seven rods that I have just because I like fluorocarbon a lot. Now, the different size fluorocarbons or mono or braid can always fluctuate. I mean, I do risk it sometimes fishing 20 pound fluorocarbon with the Hinkle Trout uh, just because sometimes I feel like the baits will fish a little bit better on lighter line. It's all up to you guys confidence wise. If you guys are fishing a more pressured spot, I would try the fluorocarbon just because it's obviously unseeable underwater. 
And the fluorocarbon has a little thinner diameter than mono or crow polymer, so it might get your bait to swim a little bit better if the bait's a little funky. So I've realized that the lighter the bait, obviously the lighter the line. And so, but the 20 pound fluorocarbon overall is really good for pretty much all the baits that I throw, obviously except for like the real giant baits. But I've fished 20 pound fluorocarbon for the Tiny Clash, the HUD 68, all the way up until the Hinkle Trout and I've had success on it all. So at the end of the day, it's all about confidence and just understanding which one is gonna suit your fishing styles better. Hopefully this video helps you guys break down what line you guys should be checking out for the swim baits. Other than that, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll get down to it and hopefully make another video. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, go out there and chase your dreams.